basically what I have here is a vanilla installation of, of Cal. No bells and whistles or frills. I have enabled the Burp Pro license and done the uh, Burp Pro installation on this machine just because that takes time to download and it's very boring for you to watch. And there's no magic behind that. The other thing that I've set up a Docker uh, deployment on this machine to locally run OWASP's Juice Shop vulnerable web application. So I can show you a few demos of these extensions in play. I actually tried something new. I just asked ChatGPT since that's the fun, the, the big thing for everybody to be talking about these days. Write me a bash script that will deploy a local instance of a Wasp Juice And what it came up with was this bash script. You can run this on your own Kali instance. Any Linux-based instance, really, you just need to replace this with whatever your whatever your package manager of choice really is for Kali. It's APT. So that's what it sort of built out for me. And the few things that go on here is checking and installing Docker if it's not already installed and making sure the Docker service is actually running if it's not. And then it pulls a Docker image from or, or for OWASP Juice Shop, and then it starts it. It's very quick, very simple. I didn't write a single letter of this. I wrote a sentence into chat GPT, like I said, late last night, it came up with this script. The other thing that I asked it to do as well is to create a script for me to make sure that I can tear down this OWASP juice shop instance easily enough. And that's what the second part is here. But one of the things we want to make sure we can do is we can revert back to a good state so we can start clean the next time. And that's what this script is doing. We have the Docker stop for that OS juice shop, removing the juice shop Docker container, and then removing the juice shop Docker image completely from the machine. This way we can run the first, this first bash script that I talked about to start OS juice shop, and then we can run the stop one after the fact. We can do that back and forth as many times as you want. These scripts will help you get start up for OS juice shop and shut it down completely so you can start from scratch. Right now we uh, we've had OWASP Juice Shop starting up from the scripts that I, I showed you. But what is OWASP Juice Shop exactly? OWASP Juice Shop is an open source uh, vulnerable web application that's uh, developed and maintained by OWASP. They build out lists for kind of top ten vulnerabilities. They put out a bunch of open source things to try to help the community. And one of them is this vulnerable web application. It is meant to be a testing bed for you to learn from. Uh, there are a series of challenges that are embedded inside of it. As you can see, I've got kind of main page open here. Uh, there's a main overview, uh, news where they sort of talk about what's coming up, what it's done. And then there's a challenges section, which I'm not going to open. So there's no spoilers for anybody. Basically, what we're going to be using this for is I have deployed a local Docker image of the OWASP juice shop on this virtual machine I'm showing you. And we're going to use Burp and its extensions to interact with that in a few ways for some of the extensions so that you can see when testing an application and using this extension, then this is what you should get. We won't necessarily make it our goal to exploit the application. I will show you one or two things that get you past a challenge for the for the explicit purpose of being able to show you what an extension can do after that point. But I think it's only one or two of the challenges, and I'm not really going to be talking through those. We're really going to focus on the extension itself. But I, I highly recommend it. It's just go to OWASP.org. I'm sure it's pretty easy to find if you just search for OWASP Juice Shop as well. Let's revisit our, our Docker script. Looks like it has completed and it has deployed. Let's open up another window over here. As you see this last line right here, for Docker is it states the port that it will be running on in here. That's how you know where to get to this instance. Now, since it's going to be running locally, it's going to we'll use our local IP address 127.27001. We'll use the colon and just put 3000 right in there. This will take just a minute to load up since it is the first time of it of it actually loading. What this has essentially done is set up a whole web application for us to be able to interact with locally. And that way, it, this is a safe playground for us. I'm not showing you 
a, a random website for our demos. I'm not showing you the Black Hills site, show you how to get past things for the demos, but we should be able to get through things fairly quickly here. And why that's starting up, because it does take a little bit that first run, I'm gonna go ahead and open up Burp and have that starting to load as well. While those are going, we'll set up our Burp project.